Hey, happy Wednesday! Hope that your week is going as well as mine is. morning everyone so I'd been whining yesterday about not wanting chicken and I just just like eh but so I have a little something different I fried myself up a pork steak and a couple eggs so and yes I used baking grease in the eggs I figured that would give them uh, you know a matching profile to go with my pork steak I know it's not the same flavor but you know same meat same flavoring just felt like the like what I would want to do, and of course I have my morning coffee. So I do have another lofty day filled with meetings, but the good news is is that today is Wednesday. We have one more big huge effort, and then uh, I have a vendor who's going to do the next step. So all I have to do is keep on top of them. And so while I do have some executive meetings and some things to take care of to prep for the next phase. I'll be able to breathe a little bit and on top of that so we have some uh, things going on next week early in the week but we are almost uh you know we're almost out of the woods and then it's the third week of the month and we have holiday times i have uh, taken solstice off to take my big walk in the morning i feel like things are looking up now i do have still a ginormous set of tasks for ohio con but I can now breathe and feel like I can manage them. I don't know how I'm going to pull it off, but I always do. And I will. And if I get desperate and need for help, I'll reach out, right? The other thing is I had like, I don't know what happened. I had a really close friend and all of a sudden it stopped talking to me. And then I noticed that he had unchecked that uh, box on the, the friend's connection. I have no clue. Uh, was there like ripple in our gay community? Of course there was. There always is. In every club, group, organization, uh, whatever, there's always a little ripple of drama here and there, but I thought I was pretty peripheral to it. I don't know. But uh, it's been giving me a lot of anxiety. I've been letting it eat at me. Like my feelings were hurt because there was no conversation. You know what? If you have a beef with me or you just don't like me, give me a good telling off and then block me. I'm fine with that. That actually feels better. There's closure. Uh, and, and then, you know, I'll either be like, well, I really screwed up or, well, F them, right? One way or the other, but you know where you stand. And when it's just left all vague, it leaves that mental loop of like, of over analysis and feeling unsteady. And it kind of bleeds into your other stuff. And I'm thinking, I probably need to just reach out today and be like, hey, these things happened and can you just let me know what's the story and how this impacts things this weekend? Because there's an event and uh, peripherally he's in charge of it, but uh, also other people are part of that group and I wanted to go because they're doing uh, photos and like nine or ten of my other friends and some of my chosen family are going to be there. So I'm like, whether you like me or not, it doesn't matter because you don't have to even look at me if you don't want to. That's cool with me. Fine. But the iffy of like, if I show up, is there going to be suddenly like this weird uh, event or like, are people going to flip out? Has there been like gossip circling and people haven't got back to me? I don't think so. Honestly, I feel like it's even possible that it's just a mistake. I don't know. But I don't know because we've not exchanged any words for like three and a half weeks which is really weird. So there's my morning thoughts to ponder. Let me know what you've done when you've had these weird little things that happen sometimes in our lives. Stuff goes awry. It's not the end of the world. Things happen. So trying to let it go. And maybe that's also going to help with the mental aspect of struggling with my enormous workload. Who knows? Anyways, fantastic day. We're getting to it. 
and we're going to eat this breakfast and enjoy it. I hope that you also are having a delightful break of your fast this morning or this afternoon or whenever you choose to eat. I hope that it is glorious. Oh no, I'm not done. So yesterday, Keto Chow released that new sticky bun and I haven't reintroduced Keto Chow to my diet, but can I just tell you, I was on that purchase button so stinking fast. Pecan sticky bun. And I know Chris Bear doesn't like pecans, which means uh, Miriam got to taste it. And I often like a lot of the same things Miriam does. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. and it will get reintroduced. Uh, I have my Ninja Creamy too to make ice cream, but also I still have my compressor machine and I'm, I'm on the fence. You know what? I, I don't know. I love the texture and the taste that comes out of the Ninja Creamy, but you definitely have to be doing a think ahead. And I'm sort of wondering if I want to rearrange my area again and relocate that Ninja Creamy somewhere else for that way if people want to do prep ahead and then I want to bring my compressor machine back up. It's definitely a different texture. It's really more of a soft serve. Often it's a little bit icier, but honestly, I can do it on the fly. I can throw together my shake and then dump it in and 15 minutes later I have a soft serve ice cream. I'm seriously wondering if that would make my life a little easier. I have no idea. Anyways, now I'm really going to go eat my breakfast, share some thoughts with me. Also, on yesterday's video, keep giving me them recommendations. Those were fantastic. I have made myself a nice little cue and I am looking forward to trying out some of the stuff that you guys have recommended to me. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching some TV, which I don't do a whole lot of, and I'm excited. Thanks, everyone. See you in a minute. Hey, everyone. So let's have our little nerd moment for the day and talk a little bit about uh, the yogurt. Uh, you know, I mentioned that that was the one of the first things that I was uh, uh starting to reintroduce next and uh, I talked to you about how when I saw the doctor he said this was going to be a good move because it would help my gut uh, microbiome uh, replenish and in our keto groups we talk a whole lot about our homemade yogurt and all of that stuff and I thought you know we say all these things but we don't really talk about why and am I going to dive in and give you the three-day college dissertation no, you can go look up some of those research papers. That's fine. Uh, there's some on the uh, uh, NIM Health uh, uh, Medical Journal Guide, all kinds of places you can go. But the quick and dirty, just so you know, why the uh, Greek yogurt specifically is a really good addition is that it is lower in carbohydrates. And when, <coughs> excuse me, when you make your own, you can uh, strain out more of the whey the whey is what contains your carbohydrates, so it becomes even uh, a bit better for you. Uh, well, for people who follow ketogenic food plans or low carbohydrate plans. So, but why? Well, first of all, Greek yogurt, which is the type of yogurt we are making when we make it from home and we strain the bejesus out of it. Uh, it has basically double the amount of protein of your standard yogurt. So that's a real big positive. And it has a lot of nutrients in it, such as um, calcium, magnesium. You know how we need our magnesium, and we love it. Um, and potassium. And uh, also phosphorus, which is one of those minerals that we lose out on a lot. Yes, I'm drinking coffee. So, and... A lot of times we introduce yogurt into our diet because we're thinking we need calcium or worse, we don't introduce yogurt and we're still short on calcium and people turn to those chews even though they're full of sugars and they will ultimately be more detrimental to our uh, food plans than uh, helpful. But you do need your calcium and so the Greek yogurt is a great way to do that. In addition, the probiotics in it uh, help promote your healthy gut they um because like your digestive tract it has a lot of different types of bacteria uh, uh some of it's good some of it not good the ones that aren't good can make you pretty sick and actually be harmful so you want to make sure that you are doing things to replenish the good uh, 
bacteria because that's going to help with your digestion and also the more of the good bacteria that you foster there, uh, the less room there is for the bad kind. So uh, eating more of the Greek yogurt on a regular basis helps sustain the healthy good bacteria. So those are the main things. Um, like I said, yeah, uh, the, the double protein of traditional yogurt is the biggie. As you know, we love our protein. And weird little fact for those of you who are menopausal, uh, there was a study that recently completed that said women who are menopausal who started intaking Greek yogurt on a regular and sustained basis had a better impact on bone density and bone health in general than they did by those who were taking these supplements. So that's why Greek yogurt. That is why we went through it. Now, here's a little yogurt thing for you, a question. Um, as you know, we have some supply issues and this morning I knew that we were eating more of the yogurt faster than anticipated, so I wanted to start a new batch. And of course, the dairy and the eggs were all picked over. Eggs are irrelevant to the yogurt, but you know, it, I have constant anxiety that I'm gonna run out of eggs. My very favorite, the absolute basic for like a whole bunch of my diet. I love eggs, I eat eggs, I like high quality eggs, and my township does not allow chickens or I would have them to make my own eggs. So it is what it is. Anyways, I was like, oh, that I'm gonna go and buy a couple of those 18 packs of the good eggs that I like, and wow, the, the whole egg section, it was very picked over. I don't know what kind of run there was on the eggs. I didn't look it up to read it, but I snagged two packs of the free range happy eggs, so I'm happy with that. Haha. Ha. And uh, then I went to the dairy section, and whew, there was not fair life milk to be found, whether it be whole, whole lactose free, reduced fat, fat free. And quite frankly, I prefer not to have the fat free because I prefer the fat for my diet, although I can always add other kinds of fats later. So whatever. And I was like, wow, and I couldn't find ultra filtered, ultra pasteurized milk, which is what you need to use. Ultra filtered is very, is the most important part. Ultra pasteurized is what you need to make yogurt from a cold start method in the Instapot. And however, I was looking and I was looking for like, maybe there's another brand and there wasn't, there wasn't, there wasn't. Then I found a weird product is at the Kroger by my house. And I don't like to shop at Kroger very often, but sometimes it's the choice because it's real close by. So they did have Kroger's Carb Master Milk, which I have not actually tried. It's just always to me looked like one of those hinky products. So I skipped it, but I noticed it said ultra filtered, ultra pasteurized. So folks, I bought it. It was on sale and there was a coupon in the app. I hope that it works because I bought two of them and am making a double batch. Cross your fingers. Have any of you used this Carb Master Milk? I didn't even taste it. I didn't want to taste it and, and uh, color my opinion after the fact. I figured worst case is if it doesn't gel up properly is that I can then uh, do cheater uh, like a, like a, you know, and like vegans do with almond milk, uh, yogurt, and uh thicken it a little bit with gelatin and just call it a day. But hopefully everything works out and it works. If it does, I might consider it a little more often simply because it is even lower in carbohydrates than the Fairlife milk. And the Fairlife milk is pretty, pretty nice. But I question it simply because the ingredients are maybe not as nice as the Fairlife's milk. There's nothing really wrong with it, but it also looked kind of watery when I poured it in, so I don't know. What do you guys think about that? What do you think about this? I noticed that I do know that Kroger has a couple of these uh, Carb Master products. I haven't tried much of them. I don't know how they are. What do you think? Anyways, tell me your yogurt experiences. Let me know. Let me, let me hear about it. I'm interested. And do you make that Instapot yogurt? I think the Two Crazy Ketos popularized it, but it was also really popular in my Instapot uh, uh, Facebook groups. Uh, people love cold start yogurt because it comes out so thick and awesome. Uh, it's just that it is a little pricey because it's ultra filtered, but because it comes out so thick and awesome, it's really nice. So 
I will also tell you that even though I'm not having any right now, other people in my family are fine with like heavy cream. And I thought maybe I would buy some as a surprise, but they were out. Everything was so picked over. I'm hoping they're just between deliveries, but I also know periodically the supply chain has been ebbing and flowing. Like, oh, my keto life is suffering just a smidge. But we make do with a lot of other things and we will continue as we can. So uh, share with me your stories. I don't have nerd things today. The Greek yogurt was it, talking about our calcium, the double protein in there to help boost it. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. And by the way, if you have other intestinal diseases, like I have celiac, but if you have uh, uh, IBS or any of those other types of, uh, of uh, problems, uh, the Greek yogurt is also good to help with those symptoms. So there you go, bringing it back full circle. I will talk to you again later at meal two. I'm still undecided. I'm fairly tempted to have another one of those chicken salad sandwiches because it was really good and because I already have the chicken made, but I don't know yet. So I'll get back to you. You have a great day. I'll see you shortly. Bye-bye. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Here we are with meal two. Thanks, Renee. So guys, uh, I didn't quite make a sauce and of course the lighting makes it look weird, but I've got my crepes stuffed with uh, some sauteed uh, leftover chicken, the shredded chicken. And uh, what I did was I took a half a cup of that yogurt and half of an avocado. Yes, I'm reintroducing the avocado today. So this will be the most carbs I have eaten in eight or nine weeks so we'll have to see how it goes but i'm super excited you can sort of get it unfortunately there's not much i can do about the the lighting on these things i know that i could make it look better but well i mean i know i can make it look better i don't know how to make it look better but anyways it is delightful i took the the avocado and the yogurt and i squished it together with a little bit of uh, lemon juice salt and it actually it tastes really quite good uh, i thought about thinning it out to make it more saucy but then i just left it as is so inside the the egg crepes i put a little smear of that and then i put the rest of it on top so there we go i am stoked and thanks to uh to renee you know uh for, for the suggestion of uh of a not an enchilada type dish to uh spice things up a bit so to speak it's not spicy that's the one thing that it could really use is some chili flakes but of course i think most things could use some chili flakes so you know i'll get there it's coming really soon and i'm excited so i'm gonna go eat my meal too and i will splice this video together because pretty soon i gotta hot foot it out of here to go pick up some tables that are gonna be part of my board game library especially for things that require uh, two or four seats. They're nice squares or like a uh, Go and Mahjong where the bigger tables just don't quite fit the games. So I'm super excited about that. And uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, two days ago, I said the plumber was coming to replace our faucet and he had to reschedule because one of his plumbers was out. And so now they're supposed to really be coming today because the faucet is leaking more and more and more and I am ready for it to be fixed. You know, the more your faucet drips, the more it costs. We will see that on the water bill. So I'm hoping I'm going to go eat this. They're so, I'm so excited. They look delicious. And of course the crepes, I got super lucky. Let me show you the crepes. You can see, look how awesome they came out. I'm excited. So really I'm going to go now. And of course I've got my water. So see ya. I hope that you are having an amazing day. It's Wednesday. So we're almost to the weekend again. It's coming up fast.